Yo, what is up? And welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. Here's a updated list of my top seven altcoins to buy now and make millions and get rich. Let's freaking go. What's up? I got Caspa, G Fal, hello. A new gem for the VIP membership and also Joystream, Neon, Mint Layer, and of course my honorable mention. So what's up? What's going on? What is Papa Lapin? Feels like the bull run is here, man. Everything is just freaking pumping. It's all pump a lumping. Bitcoin pump a lumping. The 44,000. My Caspa bags are freaking pump a lumping. My G Fell is pump a lumping. My Joy Stream is pumping. My Mint Layer is pumping. My Neon is pumping. My Hello is pumping. What is not pumping? <laughs> that is a real question. Is anything not pumping? I'm excited for my new gem. I, I've got I've got a new crypto I'm planning to buy. I, I I have some good cryptos on my on my radar. I'm I'm looking to get get a nice little bag. Gary, what's up, dude? What is happening, crypto? Twenty four. Let's slap some people. John, John, what up? Water sock bat. What's up, dude? Yeah, I saw uh Da Vinci Jeremy was on Archetypes channel. I mean, yeah, it's bullish news for Caspa, but he's also he buys a lot of cryptos. Like he's he's all over the place. Now, if if you if I hear Michael Saylor is gonna buy Caspa, that would be really bullish. But Da Vinci Jeremy, it's kind of bullish. He's buying Caspa, but it's not. I don't think it's as like as bullish as you know it would seem. Because Da Vinci Jerry Jeremy, he's not a Bitcoin maxi. He has a ton of like all coins, and he's been known to participate in rugs in the past. And he works. He he's worked on crypto teams that just kind of just dig rug pulls. So let's go ICP to the moon, of course. Gotta love our old ICP. I'm selling all my Caspa for ICP. Jerry Banfield is my bleep dealer. What's up, Vinny and the Doge? What's up, Sugar Lump, Giggity? My VIP members, what's up, guys? Great to see you guys here. How's it going? What a day to hit the pump. Seaborg, what's up, man? Once again, I shut the work laptop down just in time for this. This probably means Caspa starts playing around with 20 sets. Yeah, let's see, dude. Uh, Caspa looking bullish, man. I don't know. Is it going to pump to 20 cents or is Caspa going to have a little dump back down to 7 cents? We'll see. We'll see. What do you think? Caspa going to pump or Caspa going to dump? Short term. Mikey B, what's pop a lop and do? Great to see you here, man. Great to see you. Uh, BL, what's up? Glad to see my moderators are in here. We got Mikey. We got BL. What's up, guys? Thanks for being here. And why am I getting comments not refreshing? Oh, my God. I think there's a secret to this, but I haven't figured it out. If I refresh my page. Disconnected. The heck? Uh, can I change the comment? I had this problem yesterday. The, the comments just get frozen. Giggity dang it. What have you done? <laughs> you broke everything. What do I have to click? What the heck? I can move the comment, but I can't like change it out. What is happening? All right, here's some uh, elevator music while I fix it. Literally can't see anything. Light source icon. Copy link address. Paste it. Is that working? Why is it not showing anything? Why are the comments like all frozen? Oh, here we go. All right, we're back. Yeah, I can put the comments up here. All right. But I still checked out for lit. I don't even have lit labs. I would not even buy lit. I would not have either of them. <laughs> Neither. X and A, that's a scam. Mm. I, I, I don't like cryptos that have anonymous teams. Let's go, Dandruff. 
I see we got some super chats. What's up? Let's go crypto. Thank you for the $10. Hello again, Galaxy fam. Thoughts on Tectum? It's interesting. Bought a bag. Let's freaking get it. I mean, it's whatever, dude. Like, I used to have it and I sold it. I'm done with it. I'm probably not going to buy it back. It's just super iffy. Dude, wh what is good about Tectum? I'm asking because I, I like layer one cryptos. And this is a layer one, but it's a crappy layer one because they're not even working on smart contracts. This is just their main product is their uh, soft note, which is a piece of paper. But no one's going to actually use that. In crypto, nobody uses crypto in real life. How many people do you know in, in real life who are going to be like, oh, yeah, totally. Hand me a piece of paper with a crypto barcode on it so I can scan it. What's the point? You can just transfer crypto uh, from your phone to another person's phone if you're in real life. Or if you're just doing transactions online, which is probably like 99.999999% of all crypto transactions is digital. And what's the point of the physical piece of soft note paper for the Tectum product? It's useless. No one's going to use that. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a great idea. It's a great concept. It sounds like it should be good, but in reality, no one's actually going to use that crap. So, so if, if soft note is the main product for Tectum, like they say, then it, it's crap. I, I don't think Tectum is going to perform well long term. And the team is really questionable on Tectum. I, I checked the team history. It was not impressive. It was, I mean, they're okay. They pass, but they're not impressive. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, yes, this is the next alpha gem. It's just whatever. So, yeah, Tectum kind of sucks, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not going to go buy back into it. It passes a lot of checks for me because it's got an okay-looking chart. It's, it's, uh, it's got a few exchange listings. The market cap is pretty low. The tokenomics might be okay because the circulating supply is half. But as far as the fundamental goes and the team, kind of sucks. Nerdy Dave, thank you for the $5. Also, my moderator. What's up, man? Show us the Fibonacci circles on Caspa. <laughs> oh, man. I got to... Oh, you want me to go draw a whole bunch of lines on here? All right, let's see. Let's go add this little sequence right there. Let's add the Fibonacci. Let's go add a few lines and support resistance and the MACD and the A, B, C, D, E, F, G crap. And, uh, oh, wow. I can add emojis? Dude, you guys have never seen the emoji technical analysis, right? Like, you just put a smiley face. That means pump. It, it, it means pump when there's a smiley face. Smiley face equals 1 trillion X pump tomorrow. So you really don't want to miss Caspa. Going to go freaking straight up to the moon. Wow, dude. The smiley face technical analysis pattern looking bullish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Freaking technical analysis is so dumb. What I really want to do is just make my own video course teaching people how to read a chart without any of the bull crap. No lines, no Fibonacci, no MACD, none of this, none of that. I think it's all nonsense. I think you can read a chart without any lines on the chart. Like every time I look at charts, I just look at it. I'm like, okay, I have a feeling this or that's going to happen based on how it looks. It's very simple. I've, I've, I've read thousands and thousands of charts over time the past three to four years. I've just seen certain things play out. So... I think I might make a video course explaining it because uh, that way I can actually clearly explain and kind of teach people how to figure out how to read a chart without any of the technical analysis bullcrap. Like you can do technical analysis and draw lines, but I think it's just a way to kind of help you figure out how to read charts. When I, when I was first learning chart reading, I would do that. I would actually put a whole bunch of lines on the chart. I would usually just put uh, support trend lines on the bottom. I would check out the resistance. I would look at the previous all-time highs. I would even look at the moving averages. I would look at basic things that help me understand charts. And so now that I understand charts, I just don't need to put lines on anymore. But I think if you're just starting out, like if you're trying to learn chart reading, I think it helps to to put a little bit of lines and, and stuff on the chart. Like just really basic things. Just look at just look at certain indicators, certain key levels, like you know, the tops, the bottoms. Um the percentage up or down from the all-time highs. Cer certain things matter that you can use, you know, technical analysis for, but technical analysis uh, is, is a lot simpler than what so, some influencers have made it out to be. It's not supposed to be complicated. I just, I laugh my ass off when I see all this like volume patterns on the bottom and I see Fibonacci sequences and I see the MACD pattern. I'm like, dude, this is overkill. It, it's not, it doesn't work because I, I, if I know how to read a chart without any of that, I know it's useless. It, you don't need it. It's the chart reading is a lot simpler than uh, some people make it out to be.
doesn't sound like da vinci knows anything about cash but he's a bitcoin whale doesn't really care i i agree he he is a bitcoin whale he got bitcoin super early he has been involved with hundreds if not thousands of of altcoins over the past several years I don't think he really truly understands caspa or many cryptos in general like obviously he got bitcoin early and he understood the potential of bitcoin but ever since bitcoin he hasn't been known for anything else since then he never realized ethereum was great early or any other crypto and he doesn't talk about things like decentralization and proof of work concepts and you know the caspa block tag i'm sure he understands caspa on a basic level but I, yeah I, I agree i don't think he's like an actual expert in understanding crypto like i would say michael saylor and a few other people understand caspa or just in general they understand the centralized proof of work coins much better and they understand what it takes to solve a trilemma da vinci jeremy is like i would say he's definitely ahead of most but i don't think he's like a top tier ultimate god level crypto investor he was just a really uh, lucky you know early bitcoin investor but he, he's okay though you know he's decent I'm not trying to crap on him so many scam coins are pumping. I am starting to believe the only way to lose money on pump and dump meme coins. <laughs> Everyone FOMOing into Carlson dumped and came back up. Yeah, I'm not going to touch Carlson until uh, coin market cap and like Mexi or some decent exchange listings. I, I'm not going to sign up on Trader Ogre. I'm not going to sign up for Safe Trade, Zegex, Xbitron. I'm not that degen, but you can do it if you want. If you want to be super degen, you can do it. It's just not my thing. If there is a pullback for cash, how long low can it go before big companies who can drop the price are the exchanges they bought it? Uh, that, that, that's way too much conspiracy theory, dude. That's that's way too specific, Bames. It's not that it's not that simple. That's this is a really useless question. There is no answer to this question because it's not even a. This is not even a clear, concisely formulated question. You got to be uh it's it's not that specific like oh well if, if this person does that thing and that exchange does this the price will be x on y date it's, it's not that you can't get that specific with price predicting it's not that simple a b c d e f g crap that made me la mayo dude you're freaking hilarious <laughs> thanks dude <laughs> yeah saucy freaking macd patterns dude you're the gem thanks jury all gg where can i get the he sold early video you can get it right here on my channel. Here we go. I made the video myself. I'm not even kidding. Like, I actually made it. You're not going to find it anywhere. You just got to search YouTube for the coffin dance video. And then you got to put the text on top of it yourself. Octospace will make millionaires. I mean, yeah, if you have like a hundred thousand dollars invested in it, you could make a 10 X and become a millionaire. It's really risky. It, it could hundred X, but I'm leaning towards no, because the team has no experience in crypto. How did you find ML? Where do you do research? Uh, it's from my group, you know, like, like, uh, much credit goes to my group for finding this. Most gems that I have, I find by myself, but there are some people who follow me who have started to learn my uh, gem finding methods, like my screening process, where I go to look for them, how to read a chart, how to, you know, analyze a team, the LinkedIn pages, the exchange listings. So yeah, it's all, it's all credit to my discord group. Uh, there's, there's a member in here. Uh, I think his name is uh, Razzle Dazzle. He found mint layer super early. He showed it to me and said, Hey, check this out. It, it, it fits all your criteria. And I was like, holy crap, you're right. This is a gem. So thanks. Shout out to my member on my uh my VIP membership. He's been on dude, he's been on my membership for like 10 months now. He's been around forever. So like once you start consistently following me and understanding uh how I look for gems, you can kind of look for gems the same way that I do. And you can you can put cryptos through a whole bunch of criteria. So then you know a crypto is a gem rather than just saying, Hey, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on that? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> You got to give me alpha. Why is it good? Why am I going to like it? You know what I'm looking for. Bring me a cryptos that you know I will like. And then it could be a gem. So yeah, shout out to my uh, VIP member for finding Mint Layer. Dang, he found it at four cents. Mint Layer has seriously been pumping so much, dude. That's crazy. I think it's underrated because Ordinals 
And the BRC20 narrative is clearly bullish, right? Ordinals is close to a 1 billion market cap. It did a 10x over the past month listed on Binance. All of the BRC20 tokens are pumping. Mint layer is exactly like Ordinals. It's also a layer two for Bitcoin where people can launch their own BRC20 scam tokens on Mint layer, just like people launch them on Ordi. So it's going to be the same thing, but for a fraction of the price. It's a $9 million market cap. $9 million. Ordinals is $750 million. So this is like one-eighth or one-tenth the price. Actually, sorry, one-hundredth the price almost. Uh, the Mint Layer mainnet is going to go live in a couple months. And the team has been very active. So I'm not worried about the launch. So once the mainnet lo goes live for Mint Layer, we, we could see some serious pumping potential. So you got to pack your bags. I, I think Mint Layer is looking bullish for uh, the next year of 2024. You're sleeping on ordinals and infrastructure built on BDC. It will moon. It already mooned. I missed the moon, dude. You had to tell me about it before it pumped a lot. It's pumping so much, dude. Ordinals went straight up. I, I agree. It is bullish. I think already and the Bitcoin Layer 2 narrative is, is a bullish fundamental. Like, I like Layer 2s. And this is pumping. So obviously I'm not going to buy ordinals now because this means somebody else got ordinals so freaking early. Why would I pump the bags of already self-made millionaires? I'm not that rich. You know, if I buy a small bag of already, I might get a small return, but I'm not going to make nearly as much as anyone else who got already earlier. So I, again, nothing wrong with already, man. Like it's fundamentally solid. It's just that I, I missed the pump. So I'd rather stick to mint layer or, you know, the next ordinals to become the next Bitcoin infrastructure. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna buy this one and I'm not sleeping on it. Cyber Arena, oh, that's a scam. Mm. I looked at it, it looked like it looked like crap, dude. It was awful. It it looks just terrible. Who who's promoting this? Like every time I hear a new crypto on here from someone says, Hey, what about this? What about that? I know you're watching other influencers. So just tell me, like, if you're gonna recommend a crypto to me. You got to tell me also like where you heard it from because if, if, if another influencer already called it, then it's not it's too late for me. It means it already pumped. So I'm not going to go pump the bags of other influencers. I need my own picks, dang it, so I can buy early. I'm sure Cat is maybe okay, but obviously I missed the pump if some other influencer already pushed it. So we got another donation game. Alta Murano. Thanks for the five dollars. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the donation. All right, let's get back to slapping people. Beam scam coin. And and, and and Josh, none of this. Have you heard of that? Have you heard of this? Blah blah blah. We don't care. Forbidding comments. You shall not ever say thoughts on crypto. What about crypto or opinion on crypto? No one cares. You're wasting everybody's time. You clearly have no experience in crypto and you're just looking for some sort of confirmation bias that you stumbled upon the next gem. That, that's not how this works. <laughs> Dude, you got to like start to learn, like watch people learn how to understand which cryptos are better than others so that you don't have to go around like, hey guys, what do you think of Beam? Has anyone heard of Beam? What's your opinion on Beam? I heard about Beam. What do you guys think, guys? What do you think of Beam? It's not helping anyone, man. Get Doesn't help at here. all. Please be productive and like actually help us. Say something like, yo, guys, Beam is bullish because uh, the Binance listing is coming tomorrow. The team worked on a, a previous crypto that did 100x. You know, the chart is looking like it's about to pump. It, just say something, anything. If you just say, have you all he heard of Beam? It's like, no, we don't care. Nobody cares. Forbidden comment. There's a reason it's forbidden. You look like an NPC. <laughs> Freaking NPC. <laughs> Oh, man, so many NPCs today. Uh, two months, got to have my badge before the bull run. Welcome, Giggity, to the membership. TG, thoughts on GTA 6? I like Grand Theft Auto. It's pretty fun. Your scam coins are pumping? Dude, everything is pumping. 
how how is something not pumping literally everything is pumping even the scam coins are going to get a dead cat bounce yeah bl thank you very much you guys got to check out the uh my vip membership because then you could uh get way earlier access to my next gem before everybody on the public live stream because i get up to ten thousand views per video plus i have seventeen thousand subscribers so if you want to be part of my group of you know 700 something members you can get access to the gems way earlier now obviously all the cryptos i have are long term so you can buy them after they pump they're still good investments long term but if you want to get better entries the hundred dollars you spend on a membership uh it's gonna help you get a much better entry into a, a new gem movie reminds me of movies i have never heard of that like what's a movie what does the eggplant ta indicate <laughs> it means pump i for how could i forget about the egg eggplant technical analysis indicator how could i have forgotten i would never forget hey water sock pet thanks for the five dollars water says you convinced me to go all in caspa at one cent uh multiple six figures cg is the only youtuber to explain in simple terms why 99% of cryptos are scams. Yeah, let's go water. Dang, dude. Six figures, nice man, that's amazing. Wow, you're up in so much profit. It is true, I, I like to keep reminding people that most of the bags you're holding are a whole bunch of scam coins that they'll get small pumps here and there, but you're not gonna go up six figures with, with your scam bag, so. Yeah, congrats, Water. I know you used to be an XRP normie who believed XRP would go to $589 because of the partnerships. And then it's like, oh, wait, XRP is a scam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it just goes to show that the tokenomics are really important. You got to look at the pre-allocations, not the circulating supply. I mean, that's important, but what's more important is the pre-allocation to the pre-sale, the insiders, the team, the developers, and all the other people who are just going to dump on you. A good job, Water. Giggity, thanks for the $10. Thoughts on the new Call of Duty Warzone update? I really don't have any thoughts on this at all. I don't play video games anymore. I used to play Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty. Call of Duty Warzone. Multiplayer online. 150 pl players can play at a time? Wow. Sounds like a battle royale. That's got to be fun. Dude, I, I got to go get this and play it. You know, you, 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 you convinced me. Did I get this game? Does anyone play Call of Duty or any games in general? Is this game good? Is this a new game? When did it come out? Really? 150 players at one time? That's a lot. The last video game I played was FIFA because I like soccer, but I, I don't really play Call of Duty. The last time I played Call of Duty was when I played Black Ops 2. And that's, dude, gosh, that was like 10 years ago. Or 12 years ago. I'm so busy, man. I wish I had time for video games, but I'm so freaking busy. Mint Layer is a scam. Paid chiller. <laughs> oh, Doom Show thinks I'm a paid chiller. But I'm actually not a paid chiller. Never have been and I never will be. <laughs> the ultimate clown. And the first clown of the day goes to... Doom Show! Congratulations. Dude. I swear to God, Mint Lair ain't paying me to shell. Nor is any of my other top crypto picks. None of them pay me. I've gotten a lot of offers. Like, they want to pay me. I have so many emails. They're like, hey, bro, how much does it cost to make a video? Could you please promote us? We got a pre-sale coming out. We want people to buy the token. Name your price. And I, I, I delete and block all those scam emails. I don't, I don't believe in paid chilling. I think it's really dishonest. It's the bad part of YouTube. And I have called out so many people for being paid chillers. House of Crypto, No BS Crypto, Joe Paris, Crypto Gains, Altcoin Daily, BitBoy Crypto. The list goes on. They're all paid chills. And I have proof for all of them that they take money in private and then they go promote a crypto that you buy. But they don't actually care about the crypto. They just take money because it's a business for them. But I don't do that. No one has ever called me out for being a paid chiller with any proof because it's impossible. 
If I have never taken money to be a paid chiller, how are you gonna just claim I'm a paid chiller? Like seriously, you got you gotta give some evidence. I swear, I have never taken money from Mint Lair or anybody to to do any paid chilling. I hate paid chillers. They're awful. They're all clowns. Should I sell BDC two? BDC two? That sounds like a scam. You're you you mean Bitcoin two? What is that? That, that sounds scammy. <clears throat> is this the only crypto youtuber where we keep hearing the slaps <laughs> yes i am the one i am the one and only youtuber who slaps people because i have no patience for clowns i just i gotta slap everybody it makes me feel better man what's wrong with me why do i slap everyone First clown. Did you see Man United versus Chelsea? Did they play today? Dang it. I missed it. Dang it. I'm mad. Huh. Will cash ever reach full circulating supply? I don't know. Who cares? I don't care. Destiny 2 is a bad game. Oh, a badass game. Okay. It's like Final Fantasy and Call of Duty had a baby. That effed the baby of Halo and Diablo, and those babies birthed Destiny. <laughs> okay, Zigzag. I'll, I'll consider it. Destiny 2. You didn't actually have to look it up. I just wanted to get slapped. Okay. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Don't play COD. You're gonna get murked. Or Archie all over YouTube channels, picking up other people's picks and pushing collabs. Man, energy, what is their problem? Collaborations are very normal. And picking up other people's picks is also normal. Like, there is no, he took his pick or he took her pick or she took their pick. No one knows who got what. Like, I mean, you can kind of know, but, you know, just because he has Casper doesn't mean he stole it from me. Just because I have Hello doesn't mean I stole it from him. Missed a super chat? Oh, oops. Let me go see. From Jason. Oh, my bad. Thanks for the reminder. All right, Jason, thank you for the $2 super chat. I don't know how I missed it, but whoops. Okay. Hey, CG, watching any other BRC20s? V4, <laughs> the pumps. No, nah, man, I'm not watching any BRC20s. They all pumped a lot already. I missed the pumps. I'm not going to waste my time with them, right? Like, they would have been great if you got the pumps before the pump, but it's too late. I I, I don't know, dude. There, I'm sure there's some more BRC20s, but at this point, when everyone's talking about it, it's too late. All the bags have been bought. The pumps have been pumped. Uh, you got to look for the next narrative or the next Bitcoin layer two. I think it's it's too late to to buy more BRC twenties. Just wait for the cool off, wait for the correction, wait for the pumps to stop pumping. Because when everything goes to straight up parabolic overnight, it's like not the time to buy. So I, I don't have any more BRC twenties on my uh, watch list. I'm just, but I do have one more crypto I want to buy, which does have something to do with the Bitcoin narrative. So that's why I'm pretty bullish on it. And it hasn't really pumped a lot either. So you, you guys on my VIP membership, you got to keep an eye out. Uh, this is a pick that I'm very interested in. I might go buy a bag pretty soon. Still a pretty low market cap, very, very low market cap. It's in the, it's in the five figures. So really low, got decent tokenomics, pretty good tokenomics. So keep an eye out for my new gem on my VIP membership. Can you say hi to my wife, Chang? He's a big fan. All right, Keej. Uh, thanks for the donation and shout out to your wife, Chang. And I'll give her this. Here we go. Hey, she's a big fan. All right. Does she like getting slapped? I'll give her a slap too. Here we go. Slap. Thank you for the donation, Keej. Pay chillers equals scammers. Glad to join CG's Discord. Awesome, man. Yeah, Leo Jan. Great to have you in my Discord, sir. You recommend it. The... There's so much more value in a community than just like getting free content from paid chillers on YouTube. Like notice how the paid chillers on YouTube don't have their own Discord communities. And there's a reason for that. It's because they don't actually want you making money learning to learn things the right way. If there's a YouTuber or an influencer who does not have um, a private community, it's really obvious that they just do paid shilling on the surface level or really scam like scam coins. Some respect. What's up? ML is going to be the next Ordi and Beyond soon. I hope it's so possible because 
it's essentially the same thing. I'm sure there's some minor differences, but like the potential is there. If Ordinals can hit a 1 billion market cap, Mint Layer can also hit it, technically. So let's see. If Mint Layer hits 1 billion market cap from nine, the current 9 million market cap, we're looking at a 111x return. So there's easily a 100x potential in Mint Layer and even more. Ojack under 20 mil. Yeah, Ojack's decent. I'm I'm keeping an eye on it. I like meme coins. I think it's okay. I think Peppy's better, but Ojack has potential. Quasar or CG, what are your thoughts on Theta? No. no God, what are your thoughts no, on this? What are your no. thoughts on that? Get out of here. No, nobody cares, dude. You're wasting everybody's time. You can't just be like, hey, what's your thoughts on this? Oh, what's your thoughts on that? Dude, Theta is a scam coin. Mm. I bought Theta four years ago at one cent. I sold it all. Or actually, no. I held my whole bag down for Theta. I held it all the way down to like 10 cents. No, wait. I bought at 10 cents. It pumped a lot to like 20 bucks. And then it dumped to, I think, what is it? 70 cents now? It's a scam coin, dude. It's just another one of those old ass dinosaur pump and dump scam coins. It's done for. You got to find the next Theta, the new crypto to do 100x before it ever has a bull run. So what's the point in Theta, dude? It's like four years old. It's so freaking old. Uh, the founding team quit. Steve Chen, the guy who invented YouTube, he created Theta. And that was the reason why I invested in it. And that's how I was able to turn my 700 bucks into $70,000. Unfortunately, my stupid ass did not sell any Theta at the top. So I held my 700 bucks all the way up to 70 grand and I held it all the way down to $2,000. So yeah, slap me, but it's done, man. It's done. It's a pump and dump. You got to move on to a new crypto. You can't, if you're looking for dinosaur coins on Coinbase, normie coins that are not going to pump much, you're you're in the wrong channel. You're, you're really in the wrong place. You got to go to some normie channels and they can probably help you out with those uh, really... Really dumb uh, NPC bot low low level inquiries. <laughs> oh my god, there's there's no end to these comments, dude. I get these comments every day. Oh, what are your thoughts on this? Well, what are your thoughts on that? It's like, no, man, no nobody cares. Nobody cares. You could make a super chat, otherwise it's like you get slaps. So there you go, you get a slap. Is it soon to add lit? labs to honorable mentions dude lit labs is not that good did you see the team's history um the founder had one gaming app before on the app store which has a 4.1 star review out of 500 reviews that's pretty bad so there's there's nothing alpha about lit labs it's just a mediocre gaming coin i i don't think it's that good Mint layer is in parabolic mode. If you haven't noticed, it's only a matter of time till it blows out. Yeah, we'll see, dude. I don't know. Any anything can happen. Is it just me or CG screaming now that it has the headphones on? I am. I yeah, because I have noise canceling headphones. I can't even hear myself talking. So that is that why that's why I'm screaming. I, I gotta lower my voice, dude. My throat's gonna hurt. It's gonna be killing me pretty soon. Oh, why am I yelling so much? I got to just like talk normally. All right, Peter, good point. Joystream, if you like Theta, you got to just buy Joystream. This is the next Theta. It's a 30 million market cap, right? Or 40 million. And it has so much potential. I think Joystream is excellent. I tried to join Patreon. It's not working. It's a scam. I closed Patreon. You can't join Patreon. You got to join through my website, which is the first link in the description. I'm done with Patreon. Patreon has so many payment issues and Discord connection issues. It's just so stupid. So I moved to my website so I can get more control uh, and, and make a, a smoother process for access to your membership. So yeah, join the membership through my website link in the description. Not 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 Patreon. I'm shutting down Patreon. I'm I'm sick of Patreon. But it's the same thing. The the main thing about my membership is the Discord. This is where all the information goes. Armando, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Is your new gem a meme? Are you on my membership? You got to join. Just do it. Do it. Just, Just do, it. do it. Don't be a cheap ass. Don't let your 
Purple looks nice on you. Thanks, Lola. It's actually blue, but I think because of the lighting, it looks kind of purple. I really like lavender. I like the lavender color. Yes, hit the like button, please. Thank you very much. He's teaching the class, and that's why he's yelling. <laughs> I know. I feel like I have to go discipline a bunch of stupid children. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys are not stupid children. Sorry, just learning. I do like your pics. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I got to be nicer. I got to go talk to my therapist because I have an anger problem. I just keep yelling at people. I keep slapping people. I got to go see my therapist. Why am I so mean? All right, I got to be, be right back. My, I, I drank my whole thing and it's, it's empty. Why are my comments frozen again? What the heck? I can't change the comment. If I grab the chat link, copy link address. Paste it. Not even showing on here. What the heck? Empty. All right, I'm just going to read the comments. All right. Uh, oh. On the screen over here. The only problem with low MC coins you present is that for some time, your viewers become exit liquidity, but that's life, I guess. Ow. All of my picks are long-term holds, dude. What are you talking about? I'm not like a quick pump and dump group. Any crypto I buy is a long-term hold. Sure, you can make short-term profits. You can sell it early if you want for profit, but that doesn't mean the new buyers are exit liquidity. It just means the my new viewers or my free members are just going to be forced to hold long term until they make their gains back eventually. So Titus, you're you're, you're completely incorrect with Get what you just said. These are not short term pump and dumps. These are long term holds. It's just a matter of getting a better entry, right? Like mint layer, I think is a really good long term hold that you could have bought it at five cents if you were on my membership. Or you can buy it right now at 14 cents. It's a long-term hold either way. I think it can pump a lot more. It can go to a dollar, ten dollars, or twenty-five dollars. Which one should I sell check dot for? Small cap. Uh, I would say go get some uh, Joystream, G File, Hello, Neon, or Mint Layer. You can get any one of them. You got to just go do your own research on these and see what you like the most. Bobby, what's up, dude? I'm great. How are you doing? How many crypto cycles have you experienced? <clears throat> A lot. I first got into crypto in 2014 when I bought Bitcoin. And then I bought my first altcoins in 2020 so <clears throat> i've seen three bull runs for crypto or well for bitcoin the the end of the 13 bull run the 17 bull run and the 2021 bull run but i didn't like actually do a have any altcoins like any altcoin bull runs until 2021 because i never believed in altcoins until four years ago i only had bitcoin so i got into altcoins in 2020 I made a lot of gains in the 2021 bull run. Um, I made 100x on Polygon, Phantom, Theta, VeChain, Cardano, um, Dogecoin. I made 100x on quite a few cryptos. I didn't sell all of them. I sold some of them. I made, I made, I made some decent profit last bull run. And I, I learned a lot about altcoin trading last bull run. So now that I understand which cryptos have the most potential... Uh, I'm pretty confident going into the next bull run. And even just this year alone, uh, I figured out that you can actually still make money in the bear market, which is quite impressive. If I do say so myself. Let's go see. 
Because after the last bull run, my whole portfolio completely collapsed, like just crashed. And then now that I kind of got crypto more figured out, my whole portfolio in the bear market went completely straight up. <laughs> like, what the heck? Dude, since February 2022 to today, straight parabolic. This is my portfolio. This is my whole portfolio tracked on CoinMarketCap for the past two years. I wish I would have tracked my portfolio since 2014, but I just started it two years ago. Man, holy pump of moles. So this is my performance now. I can't wait for the bull run. It's going to be way better. I don't believe in a bear market. I am in a bull run all the time. All, all my cryptos pump. My mint layer is pumping. My G file is pumping. My freaking everything is pumping. My Casper is really pumping. My Joystream has been pumping. My Neon is pumping. Man, these are all pumping. Do I have to switch to your website? Nope. If you're on Patreon already, you do not need to cancel it. It's still active if you're already in. Patreon is just closed for new people. But if you're already on Patreon, you're you're fine. You don't need to do anything. You are? Oh, you are on the membership. Oh, okay. Tangem. Why is your name Tangem? Nah, man, you're good. Do not get angry. I like getting angry. It's fun to slap people. No AI or real world assets coins? No, I think they're scam they're scam coins. Mm. I, I am strongly against the real world asset narrative, and I'm pretty strongly against the AI narrative. I think there's a chance for AI, but it hasn't proven itself yet. It, it's super risky. I'd rather just stick to layer ones, gaming, and a few others. Machine Gun Joe, thanks for the $5 super chat. What coin should I trade to when cash for pumps? What? <laughs> None. Nothing. You just keep holding cash for, bro. You have to trade the other altcoins to go buy cash for. You got it all backwards. What do you mean? What should I sell cash for when cash for pumps? Nothing. No. If you sell cash for at all before the Coinbase listing, you get the, 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 the video. I'll play this for you. Machine Gun Joe, just add to your bags, buy more Caspa, and hold it forever. Caspa is the end game. Bobby, and thanks for gifting the membership. Thank you very much. What's your thoughts on anger management? <laughs> Hit the like button, please. Thank you very much. Hit the like button. DG had BDC. I did. I bought Bitcoin first at a hundred dollars, but then my Mac, my my computer crashed and I lost everything because I didn't I did I did not write my seed phrase on paper, so I lost all my Bitcoin that I bought at a hundred dollars. I was so mad. Could you imagine buying Bitcoin at a hundred dollars and then losing it? Ugh. Joystream looks like a good buy right now. Yeah, it does. Joystream looks good. Crypto Normie, I still have 3,000 XRP tucked away just in case. Should I keep or swap for Joystream or Caspa? Yeah, you should sell that now. Why would you hold your XRP? You got to act like a man. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Skyline, it worked. You joined the VIP. Awesome, man. Skyline, welcome to the VIP membership. Make sure to get on Discord and also 
keep an eye out for scammers in Discord. There's um there's some scammers in Discord who they copy my profile picture, they copy my name, they send you a friend request, and they're like, "Hi, I'm Crypto Galaxy. Can I help you do some copy trading bots? Can I help you make money?" It's a scammer. It's a scam profile. I'm not gonna send you a friend request. I'm not gonna send you a direct message. Just be careful on my Discord. There are scammers who look like me have the same profile picture as me and they look like exactly like me it's not me i'm not going to send you a friend request on discord uh and i'm not going to send you the first direct message okay so please be careful with the scammers on my discord all right because someone got scammed yesterday for like a thousand dollars lucas a member because of fabian awesome man Tectum is a layer two blockchain for Bitcoin. And they're going to make smart contracts. Are they actually? Where do you see that from? Because I've never seen that on Tectum. I don't think they've ever said that. There's nothing about smart contracts. Where did you get that information from? If that's true, I would say Tectum is pretty decent, but I think that's not even true. I've never heard of this. All right, blockchain, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to search the page for a smart contract. So what do you know? There's absolutely nothing. Bitcoin. It's going to Bitcoin soft note network, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's nothing about smart contracts on their homepage. So where, where did you get that information? I don't think you're 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 true or they're just really behind on updating their website. I check VIP gem is XRP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Freaking XRP. James Stalker, thanks for the five dollars. Hey man, I mentioned Turbo yesterday just for slaps. And I did not even get a slap. Oh, here you go. Now you get a slap for your scam coin turbo. It's terrible. It's awful, dude. Hold chain link? No. That's that's really bad. Get him out of here. Get out. Archie started to say dead cat bounce. Yeah, that's where I got it from. I got it from him. So there you go. Credit to Archie. That's where I copied it from. Some gaming coins have only shown Mario Kart clone games, yet they're still pump. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I know, dude. All of these gaming coins that supposedly have good games, they're just copy and pasted games. It's not like they actually made unique games. People, people are really lazy. Don't forget that. Bitcoin core developers will stop ordinals on Bitcoin blockchain. Tectum already mint layer may pump now, but may dump when or if this happens. They can't. How are they going to stop ordinals? As long as Bitcoin is up and running, anyone can go make a layer two for Bitcoin. So Fuzzbear, could you please specify how this is going to happen? Otherwise, it sounds like you're just making crap up. Saucy, not leaving until you get slapped. All right. There you go. Does Joystream have a docs team? Yes. It's kind of hard to find the information, but they are docs, like 100%. Just watch their video AMAs and you will see that they are publicly doxed. Yes. Can't stop Ordi. I know, dude, Ordi is so bullish. It's pumping so much. That's why I think I think uh, Mint Layer could be the next Ordinals. Mint Layer is, it's a 9 million market cap doing the same thing as Ordinals. It's going to be a, another Bitcoin Layer 2. XRP equals scam? Yeah, of course, dude. XRP is awful. All right, guys. I'm going to tell you. My next uh, VIP membership gem is... XRP! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's XRP, guys. My next thousand X gem. Nobody saw it coming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not XRP. Way better than XRP.
Yo, Jada, what's up? CG, loving the VIP and cannot wait for the next gem. Awesome, man. I've actually got like two gems on my radar I want to buy. I just can't decide between each one. I'll probably buy both. I'm just looking for a better entry. Why you don't like chain link? Oh my god. You're so Uriel, you gotta go binge watch all my older streams, then you'll understand. Ordinal's congesting the network. They may vote on it. Is that even possible? Who has the power to just shut down ordinals? Do you see Joystream getting mainstream adoption? I mean, I think it'll get a little bit, like just a little bit of adoption, but it's not going to be this nearly the same size of YouTube. But they, they'll, they'll get a little bit. And uh, thanks for the 249 quick low cap to pump and up your money to buy into Caspa. You got to get on my membership. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you for a $2 super chat. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. You got to just join my membership, all right? Just do it. Just get on the membership. 99 bucks. It. That's it. Don't let your dreams... Cyber Arena, legit or scam? Yes, I think it's a scam. I looked at it and it was terrible. Yes, do it. Did not impress me. Your dreams come... You need the entire community to vote? What community? Am I the community? Who's the community? I don't understand. Who has the power to just like shut down somebody who's using the Bitcoin network? I thought Bitcoin was completely open source and decentralized. You can't just like shut someone down from using Bitcoin. Would love to see Peppy 300X. Same, same. I would like to see it too. <laughs> I, will, I want to see all my bags 300X. All right. Well, I believe it's that time. ACG, shall we take some profits on cash? But no, 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 no. No, don't sell Caspa ever. No. No, just just keep accumulating. Don't don't take profits on those things, dude. There's they're they're too good to, to take profits on. No. Why are you leaning to the side? It's just more comfortable. I'll lean more to the side. Whoa. I'll lean all the way to the side, just for a beast of Brooklyn. <laughs> How do you like that? What do you think of Wojak? What do you think of this? What do you think of that? Forbidden comment. Well, I got to stop leaning to the side so you can read the forbidden comments. <laughs> it's dump time. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> all right. It's Star Wars time. Do, do, do. All right, welcome, new subscribers, Harvey Martis, and members, two Stephen Bates, two Giggities. What the heck? Why is there two of you guys? Uh, Lucas, Titus, Super Chats, thank you, game. Thank you, Giggity, thank you, Keek. And thank you, James Stalker. Thanks, guys, for the super chats. I know there were some more super chats that I just missed, and it did not load, but whatever. Thanks, guys, for the donations. Uh, keep an eye out for a new buy alert, a new gem coming out on my membership. I'm looking to buy something pretty soon. And I'm going to be packing my bags. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for taking the slaps like a man. Peace out. See you guys in the next stream tomorrow. All right. Goodbye.